me way back then, girl, how about now? Cause I'm up right now. And he's up right now. Oh, Week five, week five, we are here, the New York Giants versus the Miami Dolphins. And, you know, it's been a few days since the upsetting loss against the Seattle Seahawks. But you have to move on to week five. You have to move on. And there's a lot of lingering going on. Um, looking at Twitter, looking at social media, um, you know, you know, the ship has sunk. The ship has sunk for a lot of people. Um and even for me, at the end of that game on, on Monday night, I put a bag over my head, brown paper bag over my head, because that's how I was feeling at the time. But at the, but at the end of the day, I still bleed blue. I still root for the New York Giants every weekend, every day, every game. I'm going to root for the New York Giants. And if you're the type of fan that likes to root for the New York Giants, you bleed blue through and through wins and losses go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and join the family so let's just talk about this game a little bit so the miami dolphins we already know that's an explosive offense very explosive offense um they can put 40 50 points easily on anybody they dropped 70 points on the denver broncos this year it's, you know almost another record but they set 70 points for an offense 21 points in like the first what five minutes of the game the first five minutes of the game, listen, the New York Giants are not built for a shootout. That is something that can't happen. Um, the keys to victory for this game, yeah, I do still have keys for victory. You know, I'm a New York Giants fan. I'm going to talk about ways that the New York Giants could possibly win. And the formula for this game is to keep their offense off of the field. You know, the best way to stop a high-powered offense is not allow them to be on the field. Now, the problem with that is that the New York Giants cannot sustain drives right now. Poor offensive line play, poor quarterback play, you know, and it, it is what it is when it comes to that. Both of those two things are poor. Poor coaching coaching as well, uh, whether it be special teams, offensive line. is is, is poor coaching defense. is poor coaching going on. Um some worse than others especially when it comes to special teams and offensive line play um defense is a scheme thing most likely you know you want to try to play to the best skill set of the players um and my question to wink martindale is are you playing these players to your scheme or to the best of their ability and i think that there has to be some type of happy medium between the two um deontay banks is a press corner press him um, Hawkins is a press corner. When you use him, press him. Um, Adoree Jackson can press, but he's a pure cover corner. You know, let it, let these guys do what they do best. Kayvon rushing a passer, that's what he does best. Um, Aziz Ojolari rushing a pass, that's what he does best. You know, play to these guys' strengths. Um, whoever you want to put in the box, do that. Um, figure out the linebacker play, too. Bobby Okereke slowly coming along, looking a little bit better. Um, got saved because he didn't tackle at a guy but it didn't look like he was on the ground where they you know they didn't blow the whistle and the guy ended up running for like 78 yards luckily his elbow and i think a butt cheek hit the ground possibly but again they could have easily left that as a touchdown but a, a lot of guys have to do better i saw um i uh, saw that dexter lawrence had made a comment talking about um he doesn't care if he has to hurt hurt people's feelings they need to get something together now listen don't comment on that let the players do what the players need to do if they need to have a players only meeting and and you know clear the air you know talk, say some things to each other let these guys do that um and for some people why do you even care some people already think the season's over um uh on monday i was thinking that the season was over it took me a couple of days and now i'm sitting back like okay at the end of the day when you're looking at the record and the car facts, <laughs> the New York Giants are one and three with 13 games left on the schedule. That's the facts. Now, the other part of that is where do you see the wins coming? And it's when you're looking at that schedule, you don't see any wins coming. Like the, the optimism that I had going into the season is officially dead. The optimism is gone. Um, I started to talk about, especially after the Dallas loss and the San Francisco loss, that 
everything has to be earned from now on for the New York Giants when it comes to the fan base. The fan base is not going to give you the benefit of the doubt anymore, and that goes for the for the homers, which I fall into that category, as well as you know if you uh, the the people that believe that everything that's happening right now they saw it coming. And some people, you know, stood on the mountain and said they saw it coming. I'm hearing a lot of comments out there, too. And again, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. And rightfully so, because you can't argue with any of these opinions that people have right now. The New York Giants have done nothing, nothing for you to stand up and, 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 and cheer and support because they have not put anything on the field worthy enough for people to stand up and defend the team. And that goes for everybody from the coaches to, to, to the players, it goes from Daniel Jones to Dexter Lawrence, McKinney to Kayvon Thibodeau to Saquon Barkley, and all of them, all of them, all of them. Nobody is beyond um, having the finger pointed at them. Nobody is. Nobody is. And um, as we go into this game against the Miami Dolphins in Miami, probably going to be hot, probably going to be humid. Um, hopefully the conditions are sunny and it's not raining. Hopefully we get a lot of these guys back that, you know, Thomas, Saquon Bar. Hopefully we get these guys back so we can see exactly what's going on. And here's a storyline to this. If there is any reason why the New York Giants beat the Miami Dolphins this week, and that's a big if. An if that I don't even believe in, but I'm going to root for the New York Giants. And Saquon Barkley is playing. Oh, it's going to be because Saquon Barkley is playing. We won the game. Absolutely. Even if he only had 50 yards and a touchdown or 75 total yards, and a it's going to be the Saquon Barkley effect. And guess what, people? Me, speaking for myself, me, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to win. I just want to win now. Before I wanted to win and look good winning, now I just want to win. When it comes to the Miami Dolphins, you already know what you have to do with the Miami Dolphins. Keep that offense off the field by any means necessary. For the Giants, sustain long drives. Um, you know, run seven minutes off the clock. You know, if you can, because we haven't been able to do that. Everything has looked hard for the New York Giants. Harder than it should be, especially when you look at the roster on paper and you see some of the names on that roster. Darren Waller hasn't smelled a touchdown yet. Is it? It's just sad to see it. It's sad to see it, and you just, for me personally, I'm kind, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at what I'm seeing because just the lack of anything, anything. We haven't seen anything that we thought, or a lot of us thought we were going to see. Just a simple pass. It's just getting Darren. Just featuring Darren Waller. Now, again, Andrew Thomas has been out since game one. Saquon Barkley has been out since game two. And these are the two, you know, best offensive players on the team. And you're sitting here looking at uh, Daniel Jones like, okay, well, Barkley's gone. Thomas is gone. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And, um... I was anxious last week to see how the New York Giants would respond after the loss to the 49ers. Defense, okay. Offense, putrid. 11 sacks. Are you kidding me? 11 sacks given up. It's crazy. It's crazy. Some of those sacks, you know, on the offensive line, some of those sacks are Daniel Jones's fault. Um, and it's just a conundrum of ugliness going on going on and i can't stand it despicable disgusting behavior going on at 1925 giants way but like every week you get to start over one week at a time this week the opponent is the miami dolphins looking pretty unbeatable but coming off of a butt whooping from the buffalo bills and we do have the buffalo bills after the miami dolphins so I'm pretty sure that the Miami Dolphins, after that butt whooping that they took, are, 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 are going to try to make a statement against the New York Giants. And I guess the question is, will the New York Giants allow them to make that statement? Or will we finally pick ourselves up off of the mat and fight back? 
fight back. New York Giants fight back. 13 games left. What are you going to do? It's, it's still not too late. It is still not too late. I don't know what you're going to do with that offensive line, but it's still not too late to figure it out if you want to. If you want to. For me, I bleed blue every day, all day, especially on Sundays or game day, I should say. That's not going to change whether we keep on losing or if we turn it around and start winning. I will be here every time rooting for my team, and that will never change ever. But I will be, well, I, I will, you know, share my opinions um, because, like, again, my optimism is gone, and I really need to know what this New York Giants team is made of because, listen, you, you already buried yourself into a hole. You're the laughing stock. People are laughing at your whole team, your whole whole organization from the owner down. People are laughing at you again. Last year, we crawled out of that hole of being laughed at just to turn around and go right back in that hole and be laughed back into that hole again. And it's maddening, sickening, disgusting. But you have another chance against another opponent to make a statement Will the New York Giants make that statement? That's going to be my question. That's what I'm going to tune in for. And that's what I'm going to root for this Sunday against the Miami Dolphins. So I want to thank you guys for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And for one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. We here still. Let's go.